Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. We've got a new Dalmore or a different Dalmore 12 year Sherry Select. A different Dalmore 12 year Sherry Select. We're going to test it dummy style. Dalmore style, baby. <laughs> All right, open that. Oh, look at you. You snatched it. Jerked clean. That was bam. quicker. You're like, bam. It was like quicker on the way. Draw. Fade away. Look at that. So there is the standard Dalmore 12, which is in more of like a maroon, reddish colored box. This is purple. It's labeled 12 year sherry cask select. Ooh, it's got it's a supposedly more sherried than the standard 12 year. There are some differences. Uh, matured in American white oak and finished in Oloroso sherry casks. Mm. Uh, 43% ABV. Better than 40, Big I deal. think. Standard. If I poured you too much, you could use your Scotch Dalmore. Test Dummies stopper. Ah. Ooh, like that. <laughs> More on All that right. later. Nice sherry, plum, raisin. This is one of those, the nose smells like a color, and it's purple. <laughs> it will match the berries. The blueberry. That's why. I need a cleanser, I think. I'm not getting as much berry as I thought I would get. Yeah, nice. Fruity. Okay, I got to sip it to get them. Berries, you bet. Go ahead. All right. Open it up. A <laughs> uh, little bit of spice, a little bit of cinnamon. Nutmeg on the nose. Mmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. What's the proof on this again? Here. 47. <laughs> that was too many a hand. I don't know. I don't see it. 34. <laughs> 43. 43. I know. Mm. Just teasing. All right, you go. I, I cracked this one when I bought it just to see where really? it was coming in at. It exceeded expectations on first sip, and it's doing it again right now. I wouldn't it's, say it's exceeding. It's very sweet. Uh, I mean, fruity, berries. It doesn't necessarily feel like Oloroso, like those darker notes that are and drier. It's uh, It feels almost more Pedro Jimenez, where it's just sweeter. Okay. Berries, so uh, I syrupy. I was expecting plum raisin, and I'm not getting any plum raisin. The finish, I get a lot of nuttiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lots of nutty dryness on the finish. And something else. Touch of corn nut. Just dry. Dry corn nut kind of. Let me come back in. I'm, again, I was thinking plum, raisin, fig. No, not getting that. So I was expecting mm. it to be juicier, I think. Hold on, pause. So I was expecting it to be a little juicier. To me, it's a little more astringent than I expected. Uh, a little bit of astringency, not much. I like it. Very fruity, very sweet. A lot of berries. Let me try water. Strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, mm. little bit of fig, maybe a little bit darker, a little bit of toffee, mm -hmm. caramels. Not getting any of that. Yeah. Um, I was impressed with this one, even at 43%. Uh, I expected, you know, Dalmore 12, Dalmore 12, Sherry Cask Select, 43%. Eh. And then um, I really thought the palate really kind of exceeded what I was expecting from it. Hmm. I found it very nice. So little, far, I'm a little bit surprised, underwhelmed. A little bit of tobacco. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm worried about my taster because <laughs> I'm not getting mm. that. I got the bitter nut at the end. It's a little more stringent. I feel like I got a little bit of cotton ball in my mouth. Hmm. Maybe a little hint of like the a dry wine, but cinnamon, toffee, oh my, caramel, toasted, berries, a little bit of tobacco. Very nice. I like it. Hmm. I'm trying to get. Okay, maybe could be your suggestion. Maybe a little bit of dry leaf tobacco. Again, dry. Hmm. Put a drop of water on mine. I don't think it needs it. Uh, don't know if it did anything. 
Mm. It's, I think it's pretty good neat. You'll definitely be keeping this one. This one's falling flat for me here. <laughs> you know, I had a, what was the, was it the Cigar Malt Dalmore that, mm. the, yeah, mm. I, I love that. It was a little pricey even back in the day, but I always enjoyed that one. I knew they had, and they generally add colorant is my understanding. Yeah. That's one of the big drawbacks with right. Dalmore that your aficionados yeah. uh, always seem to point out. They add coloring. <laughs> and they are a little bit lower ABV. Now, the cigar malt, they always did a little bit higher. It was like 48 or 49%. And I liked it. And it, it got a but, lot of plum raisin on it. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It just seemed a little pricey. But I think but, that's what I was thinking. I was going to get something like that. That's not what I'm getting. And pro that's probably not fair. You know, cigar malt from nine years ago. There's the 43. The, it's up there. The only thing I have to, it, it is um, finished in Oloroso <laughs> sherry cast. It yeah. doesn't really feel Oloroso. It feels sweeter. It feels Pedro Jimenez Man. type. Man. This one's a miss for me. This Let's see. The miss. aroma caramelized orange, ginger, and sultanas faced with honey. On the palate, dark chocolate and crushed almonds with a dusting of cinnamon. Crushed almonds, I know you got the cinnamon. Finishing notes, sweet mango, panna cotta, and lemon sponge cake. I don't know what panna cotta is. I don't know either. I'm dumb. All right. So, for me, 83. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's okay. You got something on your palate. I don't think so. I think it's some of your mustache hairs. Could be. I didn't, I didn't taint it with the, with the wax today. It's a little bit... But, you know, I had, uh, the only thing I could think of is I had a sweet cinnamon roll about two oh. hours ago. Would that have messed it up? Man? Oh, but I get I could get that on here. Sweet cinnamon roll. Sweet cinnamon roll. Yep, Cinnabon. Wow, I don't get that. Mm. Maybe that wrecked it. I'm actually going to 90 on this one. Wow. And it's $70. I, and I, yeah, $70. So I actually expected I might be around to 87, 88, but it's actually, I mean, it's, there's a lot of sherry influence here. It's just sweeter than I thought it would be from Oloroso casks, hmm. uh, but very nice palate, I think. Um, it great influence, me. and even for 43%, it, it's, to me, it's got a, a great palate. It hit me bitter nut um, and dry. So not two of the things I like all that much, and I did get that coming through, but I'm not picking up chocolates or sweets. You don't like dry nuts? Not dry nuts. No. No, I like a juicy nut. <clears throat> Um, you'll be that, keeping this one, baby. $70. I think it's worth it. Uh, I like and the purple actually, color. I, and actually a little bit cheaper than I thought just the way we've been seeing 12-year-old statements going. Yeah. Um, I expect it to be a little bit higher, so I was surprised it was in that $70 range. But I think it's worth it. Um, uh, it's a little bit lighter at 43%, but hey, I mean, hmm. uh, you know, you do you, I'll do me. I and... expected more, uh, but maybe my palate is off. Could be. Go to Scotch, your range. scotchtestdummies.com. So. Bart pointed out our new uh, yeah. glass top. Glenn Cairn, the only work with Glenn Cairn. Yes. The topper, but you can actually push it down on there, yeah. seal your whiskey overnight if you don't want to finish it. And I've done that multiple and, times. Yeah. They come in quite handy, actually. And when, when it's getting late, I'm like, I should park that. I'll just put it in there and it keeps her fresh till the next day. All right. Scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.